God calls His people to follow Christ and forms us into a royal priesthood, a holy nation, to declare to declare the wonderful deeds of Him who has called us out of darkness into His marvelous light. To serve this royal priesthood, God has given a variety of ministries. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians, There are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. Let us all pray. Eternal God, by Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, you gave to your apostles many excellent gifts. Give your grace to all your servants of your church that we may with diligence and faithfulness fulfill all our various ministries. Grant that we, your people, may follow where you lead and live in joyful obedience to your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.
may request Reverend Jeff Santos and Reverend Shirley Duarte to come forward. It has pleased the 72nd annual session of the West Central Luzon Conference to have elected you as Conference Minister and Deputy Conference Minister for Ecclesiastical Year 2022 to 2024. You know what Jesus said, those who want to be great, let them serve. Yours is a great honor and yet an immense responsibility. Before God and God's people, please answer the following questions. Do you believe that it was God who elected you to your respective offices? We believe. Conference Minister elect, do you promise to fulfill your duties enshrined in the Constitution and bylaws as spiritual leader, shepherd, and executive officer of the West Central Luzon Conference Household of Faith? Deputy Conference Minister elect, do you promise to make yourself available to assume the office of the Conference Minister should the situation present itself? Do you promise to uphold the Constitution and bylaws of the United Church of Christ in the Philippines to ensure unity, harmony, and order in the body of Christ? The church. We do promise. Shall we all rise? Let us say the prayer together. Grace your God from all of blessings flow. Bless this your servants as they offer to you the very gifts that you have so graciously entrusted to them. Grant them enough measure of resourcefulness and commitment that they may experience the joy that you have so reserved to those who trust and obey. Replace the attitude of complacency with a spirit of excellence that they may not be satisfied with just having things done, but having things done with great impact upon the Swiss will see household of faith. Thank you for the partnership and friendship that shall be developed with a new set of elected officers. May they share the same passion for doing Christ's mission with vigor and joy in their hearts. Increase their love for your people, for your ministry, and assure them of your ever-abiding presence and manifold blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us raise our right hands towards the CM elect and DCM elect. The Lord multiplies your joy and increase your faith as you live up to the expectations of your respective offices relying not on your own attitudes, but depending wholly on the wisdom from God Almighty, now and forevermore. Amen. And now, by the power
And now, by the power visited upon me as Bishop of the United Church of Christ in the Philippines, I now declare you both duly installed your respective offices, effective June 1, 2022 to May 31, 2024. Brothers and sisters, let us welcome them with a round of applause. Be seated and let's hear the response from the Deputy Conference Minister elect. Magadna umaga po sa ating lahat. Nagsimula lahat dito sa Santa Catalina. Dito sa iglesyang ito, na humubog sa akin sa pananampalataya at paglilingkod. Inspirasyon sa kasipagan si Apong Esther na ang pagmamahal sa pastor at sa iglesia ay hindi matutumbasan. Laman ng kapilya halos araw-araw kasama si Apong Waning ni, ni CM Jeff. Tapat na kababaihan ng iglesia, nagtitiyak na ang rolling basket ng pastor ay napupunan buwan-buwan. Dito ako nagkaisip na mulat sa gawain ng iglesia. Ang tatay ko na yata ang pinakamasipag na miyembro na kanang kamay ng mga pastor na namulatan ko tulad ni Pastor Marso na nagmentor sa akin nung ako'y pumasok sa seminaryo. Isang desisyong hindi ko kailanman pagsisisihan sapagkat binago nito ang aking buhay. Sinong mag-aakalang ang dating pakalat-kalat lamang, ako at si Pastor Jeff, si CM Jeff, sa mga kalyeng ito ng Santa Catalina, naglalaro ng siyato, patintero at piko. Pero lumaki sa Sunday School, sa VCS, at namulat sa ministeryo ng iglesia, batay sa nakita ko sa aking ama at sa aking lola. 24 years ago, nakita ko si CM Jeff nakaupo sa ilalim ng talise. Ano ba Tagalog ng talise? Talisay. Nakaupo, nakatambay. Para kaming si Philip at Nathaniel. Niyaya ko siya, sabi ko, sumama ka sa akin. Dadalo tayo sa leksyonary ng mga pastor kasi wala akong kaedad na kasama sa grupo. Meron na tanong, hindi naman masyadong kaedad, si Ate Bet. Pumayag kasi, tambay. Sige, subukan. Nagtuloy-tuloy na hanggang seminaryo na noong una gusto ko lang makapag-aral at makapagtapos. Sabi ko kay Pastor Gina at kay Pastor Minerva Cabas, hindi ako magpapastor, mag-aaral lang ako. Doon. Pero biyaya ng Diyos, tinawag hindi dahil qualified, dahil hindi naman talaga, pero pinahintulutan ng Diyos na lumalim pa ang pagkatawag. Ngayon, papuri at pasasalamat sa Diyos sa karangalang magpatuloy sa paglilingkod. Sa karangalang dinala naming dalawa sa aming home church, ang UCCP Santa Catalina. Maari kung may dapat ipagmalaki ay walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon. Pero sana, we made this church proud sa kung ano kami ngayon sa ating kumperensya. Sa Diyos ang papuri at gaya ng lagi kong sinasabi, quoting the Bible, I am what I am because of His grace. Malugod nawa ang Diyos sa aking pagsusumikap na maging tapat niyang lingkod sa kabila ng lahat. Salamat sa inyong pagtitiwala, West Central Luzon Conference. Salamat sa CCPC sa pagmamahal at suporta. 
Salamat kay Apong Esther sa aking tatanggamin na nandyan sa likod. Kay Pastor Gina, kay Pastor Minerva na nagdala nga sa akin sa UTS. Siyempre sa mga kapatid, sa mga kauko, sa inyong pagtitiyaga sa akin. Salamat kay Pastor Henry na nandyan din po sa likod na nagpupush sa aking gawin ang alam niyang magagawa ko pa para sa WCLC. Sa dalawa kong anak na laging sinasabi, Let Mama lead the prayer. <laughs> Dakal pong salamat si Emeline. Dakal pong salamat Bishop Te. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Tulungan niyo po kami at huwag niyo po kaming pagtulungan. Ipanalangin niyo po kami. Sa pa ang papuri ay sa Diyos na mabuti sa lahat ng panahon. Amen. Kindly all stand to hear the word of the Lord. A reading from 2 Corinthians 5, verses 16 to 21. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. We are blessed in hearing the words of the Lord.
Tunay nga na ang aking puso ay umaawit at ang aking kaluluwa. How great thou art nga. Kasi sa kabilaman ng overwhelming na pangyayari sa buhay natin, sa loob ng tatlong taon na hindi tayo nagkita, mabuti pa rin ang Diyos. How great thou art. Kasi home church po namin ni Pastor Lee ito. <laughs> Laki po kami ng Sunday School Hinahatid ako ng lola ko noon Binibigyan ng 50 cents na pag Pangolekta Tapos 50 cents na pang recess Nagturo kami ng BCS Dito ako na ordained 
At ngayon, dito rin ang aking installation. Kaya, how great thou art talaga. Ang title ng mensaheng pagbubulayan natin ngayon ay pinamagatan kong bagong simula, nakaka-pressure pala <laughs> ang magsalita sa harapan ninyo. Bilang mga pastor, kami po ay palipat-lipat lagi ng destino sa mga simbahan natin. Mahaba na yata ang anim na taon na pag namin sa isang local church. May kalungkutan man at kabigatan ng loob ang mahiwalay dahil sa mga nabuong relasyon, pakikipagkaibigan, na ang turing sa bawat isa ay parang pamilya. Subalit, ganoon pa man, palagi ko itong nakikitang exciting at pagkakataon na magsimulang muli. At sa bawat simula, may natututunan ako sa nakaraan at pagtawanan yung mga nagawa kong mga bloopers, ang mga pagkakamali sa mga destino ko. Sila na po yung nakakaalam kung ano yon. Natutunan ko rin ng maaga na ang mga bagong simula wala yung halaga kung ala pa rin pagbabago sa ating mga buhay. Yung gaya pa rin tayo ng dati. Pwede tayong mag-pretend kung sino tayo, subalit eventually, lalabas at lalabas kung ano ang ating pagkatao talaga. At marahil ang mga mabubuong katanungan, anong uri tayo ng tao? Anong uri tayo ng mga manggagawa, mga pastor? Ano ba ang mga pinapahalagahan natin? Paano natin gustong makita tayo ng mga tao? At paano natin gustong makita tayo ng ating Diyos? Ang dami nating mga katanungan sa buhay, di po ba? At hindi naman sila umaalis kahit na tayo ay nagkakaedad na. Kahit na tayo ay tumatanda na. Sino ako? At nagiging ano na ba talaga ako? Ito ay mga ilang katanungan lang. Ang Second Corinthians na binasa ng ating kapatid ay sinulat ni Apostol Pablo para sa simbahan sa Corinth, Greece. Ang Corinth Church ang isa sa malalang simbahan sa lahat ng church history. Isa siya sa simbahan na warning nga mahal sa buhay ay huwag ka dyan magsimba. Mga imoral ang mga tao dyan. Sa ibang simbahan ka na lang magsimba. Subalit, mahal ni Pablo ang simbahang ito at mahal din siya ng mga tao doon. Gusto ko yung sinulat ni John Calvin dito doon sa Institute of the Christian Religion, Chapter 14. Basahin niyo po kung may ipagkakataon kayo. Pero alam ko naman na hindi niyo babasahin. <laughs> Kaya babasahin ko na lang sa inyo. Ang title niya, Paul and the Needs of His Congregation. At ganito ang nasusulat. Among the Corinthians, no slight number had gone astray. In fact, almost the whole body was infected. There was not one kind of sin only, but very many. And they were no light errors, but frightful misdeeds. There was not, there was corruption not only of morals, but of doctrines. What does the Holy Apostle, the instrument of the Heavenly Spirit, by whose testimony the Church stands or falls, do about this? Hiniwalay ba niya ang kanyang sarili? Does he cast them out of Christ's kingdom? Sinumpa niya ba ang mga taong ito? He not only does nothing of the sort, he even recognizes and proclaims them to be the Church of Christ and the communion of saints. Gustong itama ni Apostol Pablo ang simbahang ito, pero paano nga ba niya i-convince sila na mas higit silang mabuti kaysa dito? Ang sabi sa ating teksto, Kaya ngayon, ang pagtingin namin sa bawat tao 
ay hindi na batay sa sukatan ng tao. Noong una ay ganoon ang aming pagkilala kay Kristo, ngunit ngayon ay hindi na. Kaya't kung nakipag-isa na kay Kristo ang isang tao, isa na siyang bagong nilalang. Wala na ang dati niyang pagkatao, sa halip, ito ay napalitan na ng bago. Ang Diyos ang gumawa ng lahat ng ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo. Ibinilang niya kaming mga kaibigan at hindi na kaaway. At pinagkatiwalaan niya kami upang maglingkod ng sagayon ang mga tao ay maging kaibigan rin niya. Ang ibig sabihin sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, ang mga tao ay ibinilang ng Diyos na kaibigan. At hindi na niya tinatandaan ang kanilang mga kasalanan at kami naman ay inatasan niyang ipamalita ito. Kaya nga kami ay sugo, mga sugo ni Kristo. Ang Diyos mismo ang nakiusap sa inyo sa pamamagitan namin. Kami ay nakikiusap sa inyo alang-alang kay Kristo. Makipagkasundo kayo sa Diyos. Hindi nagkasala si Kristo, ngunit alang-alang sa atin. Siya ay itinuring na makasalanan upang sa pakikipag-isa natin sa Kanya ay maging matuwid tayo sa harap ng Diyos. Nang magpunta kami sa foundation ng ating seminary na nabisita ko, nagkaroon ako ng pagkakataon para bisitahin ang aming iloy at sinabi ko nga ang plano ko sa kanya na hahabol ako ng conference minister. Ang unang tanong niya sa akin, ano ang plataforma mo? <laughs> ano ang plano mo pag nag-CM ka? Ano nga bang bagong simula ang magagawa nito sa buhay ko? Sa isip ko, ang sagot, ipagpapatuloy ko yung napakagandang sinimulan ng ating CM na ang ganda-ganda ng report na excellent na ang sabi ko nga sa kanya, uh, ang hirap mo namang sundan kasi ang laki ng espasyong uh, gagampanan ko na iiwan mong trabaho. Ayun. Kaya, yon ang sinabi ko sa kanya. I-enjoy ko rin at papagpanibaguhin ang aming relasyon bilang mga manggagawa, mga magkakaibigan, na minsan may konting awayan, pero at the end of the day, masaya at iisa pa rin ang layunin. I-enjoy ko na rin siguro ang ating relasyon bilang komperensya at magkakapatid sa pananampalataya, pati yung mga trabahong kaakibat nito. Sabi ko nga, sabi nga ni CM noon, hindi ko man mapantayan, hindi ko man malampasan yung kanyang ginawa kahit man lang sana mga 99.9% <laughs> ay magawa ko ng maayos ang aking tungkulin. Papagpanibaguhin ko ang relasyon ko sa Diyos, sundin si Jesus. At ito lang ang mga ilang puntong nais kong ibahagi sa panibagong simula bilang isang conference minister. Una, ang binagong pakikipagrelasyon sa Diyos ay tutungo sa pagbabago ng relasyon sa kapwa. Following Jesus is about looking at everything differently. If we really want to change the world, we must first change our perspective. Change the way you look at your neighbors. Sa ating teksto ang sabi, kaya ngayon, ang pagtingin namin sa bawat tao ay hindi na batay sa sukatan ng tao. Maraming paraan para tingnan ang mga tao sa sukatan ng mga tao natin. Ako pinlagi kang ati Lisa, siguro nung itamumuing Diyos, alang miligtas, uling masyado tamong hmm, makanita. <laughs> Tinitingnan natin sila, ang mga tao, kung paano manamit, ang sasakyan, ang kanilang mga bank account, ang kanilang influence, ang kanilang mga kaibigan, ang kanilang kapangyarihan. Subalit sa huli, ala sa mga bagay na ito ang mahalaga. Ang, mga, ang mahalaga, hindi yung bagay na ating nakikita. Binigyan niya ng, binig, binigay na halimbawa ni Pablo, si Jesus. Ang sabi sa Isaiah 53, Kalooban ni Yahweh na matulad sa isang halaman ang kanyang lingkod. 
parang ugat na natayo sa tuyong lupa, walang katangian o kagandahang makatawag pansin, walang taglay na pangakit para siya ay lapitan. Subalit, ito marahil ay personal kay Pablo dahil bago siya naging kristyano, ang tingin niya kay Jesus ay sa sukatan ng paningin bilang tao. Siya ay isang kriminal na ipinako, hindi siya worth sundin, ni mamatay para sa kanya. Subalit siya ay binago na bago sa Damasco. Ang Korinto ay namumuhay sa sentro ng makasalanan ng kultura. Ang makasalanan ng kultura ay malapit ng hawaan ng simbahan. Ang kailangan ng simbahan ay mga taong ang katangian ay mandigan para kay Jesus sa harap ng malaking cultural pressure. Kaya kailangan natin baguhin ang pagtingin natin sa ating kapwa. Di na mayaman at mahirap, maganda at pangit, hindi na rin lalaki at babae dahil baka babae ang mag sa atin. Tingnan sila sa paningin ng Diyos. Huwag nating tingnan ang ating kapwa sa sukatan ng paningin ng tao. Hindi natin alam kung sino ang nagiging kausap natin. Si David ay kilala bilang man after God's own heart. Hindi man siya mukhang hari. Sa katunayan, malayo ang itsura niya sa kanyang kapatid nang bisitahan, bisitahin siya ni Samuel. Subalit, pinaalala ng Diyos kay Samuel. Ang sabi ni Yahweh, huwag mong tingnan ang kanyang taas at kakisigan sapagkat hindi siya ang pinili ko. Si Yahweh ay hindi tumitingin ng katulad ng pagtingin ng tao. Panlabas na anyo ang tinitingnan ng tao, ngunit sa puso tumitingin ang Diyos. Nung high school ako at marahil hanggang ngayon, sikat ang katagang ito. Don't judge a book by its cover. Naiisip ko na dahil yung magagandang libro, ay hindi naman talaga inviting ang cover. Matutukoy mo lang siya kapag binasa mo ang laman. Alam niyo po ba mga kapatid, may mas malala pa sa COVID virus at ito ay ang pagiging judgmental at ito ay nakakahawa na yung piling natin, tayo palagi ang tama at sila ay mali. Ang daming nakikitang kakulangan kaya baguhin natin ang ating pagtingin sa ating kapwa. Huwag natin kaingitan yung mga mayayaman o yung nasa kapangyarihan o yung mga sikat o yung mas magaganda at mga gwapo kaysa sa atin. Ang tingnan natin sa kapwa ang kanilang katangian. Sabi nga ng teacher namin sa seminary, In our individual journey, we have to do self-criticism. At ito ang ikalawa. Change the way you look at yourself. Sa totoo lang, madalas tinitingnan natin ang sarili natin sa panukat ng tao at sinusukat natin ng tao ayon sa ating sariling pamantayan, influence, popularity, at marami pang iba. At yun na nga, madalas susukatin natin ang mga sarili natin base sa ganito ding standards. Pero kung baguhin natin ang pagtingin sa ating kapwa, ano ang maiiwan na basihan natin sa pagsukat sa sarili? Kaya't kung nakipag-isa na tayo kay Kristo, ang isang tao, isa na siyang bagong nilalang. Wala na ang dati niyang pagkatao, sa halip ito ay napalitan na ng bago. Gusto ko ang verse na ito dahil nagbibigay siya ng encouragement at rebuke at the same time. Isang encouragement na ang bagong simula ay posible naman. Pwede namang magbago. Rebyok naman sa liwanag ng bagong simula na kailangan tayong lumago, kailangan tayong mag-grow up, kailangan tayong mag-move on. Ang pag-uugali daw ay parang flat tire. Ala kang pupuntahan, ala kang patutunguhan. Isa pa sa mga gusto kong quotes ay ito, Any dead fish can go with the flow. It takes a live fish to swim upstream. Ang ikatlo at panghuli, change the way you look 
at your purpose. Madaming tao sa mundo, ang concern ay makagawa ng impact. Gusto nilang makatulong, gusto nilang magkaroon ang, ng kahulugan ng kanilang buhay, gusto nilang magkaroon ng layunin. At ito ay nakabatay kung paano natin tinitignan ang ating mga sarili. Kayamanan ba ang sukatan ng tagumpay? Kung ganoon, magpakayaman na lang tayo. At kapag marami na tayong pera, gumawa na tayo ng impact sa mga tao. Pero ano nga pa talaga ang sukatan ng tagumpay? Pamilya ba? Meaningful career? Isang paninindigan na dapat ipaglaban? Mataas na grado? Ang mga bagay na ito ay pwedeng maging purpose natin. Subalit, suggestion ni Pablo na para sa bagong nilalang kay Kristo na pinag-isa sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng kamatayan ni Jesus sa Cruz. May malaking purpose tayo. Tayo ay nabigyan ng mga sumusunod. Una, Ministry of Reconciliation. Ang sabi that in Christ, God was reconciling the world to Himself that others can be reconciled to God. Ang mensahe ng reconciliation that in Christ, there is forgiveness of sin na ang isang bagay na sinasabi ng Biblia na naghiwalay sa atin sa Diyos ay hindi factor na dapat nating harapin. Reconciliation is about building bridges between imperfect people and a holy and perfect God. Ang huling verse sa chapter na ito ay larawan ng source ng pagbabago ng mangyayari sa ating buhay. Jesus was perfect. We are not. Subalit, kinuha ng Diyos ang ating mga imperfections at nilagay sa balikat ni Jesus at pinagkaloob naman ng Diyos ang pagiging matuwid ni Jesus sa atin. Tayo ay nabago dahil binago tayo ni Jesus. Ganito tayo magsisimula ngayon. Una, change the way you look at your neighbors. Ikalawa, change the way you look at yourself. At ang ikatlo, Change the way you look at our purpose. Sa pangalan ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Kukunin na rin po nating pagkakataon ito upang kilalanin at pasalamatan ang ating pong outgoing conference minister. Nais ko pong tawagin ang ating pong mga surprise CM. Uh, tawagin ang ating pong mga sponsors na naghanda po ng mga regalo bilang pasasalamat po sa inyo. Tawagin ko po ang ating pong conference secretary para bas dito kasi yan. Para basahin po ang ating pong certificate of recognition. Tawagin ko na rin po ang CIA president kasama po ang CWA conference president na nag-sponsor po ng bagong ministerial gown KCM at ang ating pong incoming UQO president Pastor Conrado Mangalindan para po sa regalong stola ng UQO. We would like to present this certificate of recognition to our conference minister, Reverend Elaine Grace Salen, Kalalam Salen, for her outstanding and exemplary leadership of conference officer in charge from ecclesial year 2016 to 2018, and as a conference minister from EY 2018 to 2022, her firm but affectionate shep shepherding ministry and her dedication in pursuing the dynamic life and witness of the conference through its local churches, leaders, and church workers. Given this 31st day of March in the year of our Lord Jesus Christ, 2022, during the closing celebration of the 72nd 
73rd and 74th Annual Session of the West Central Luzon Conference held at United Church of Christ in the Philippines, Santa Catalina, Lubao, Pampanga. But among you, it will be different. Whatever wants to be leader among you must be your servant. Matthew 20:26. 20, Signed by our chairman, Brother Jordan C. Ramos, MLJ Bishop, Bishop Emergencio Padillo. Kung nandito na rin po ang si Wipe Conference President, ganyan din po ang ating pong kapatid na Cleo para dun po sa uh, regalo pong ritual para kay CM. po matatapos ito kung wala pong iaabot ang asawa po ng ating pong CM. Meron din po siya ni Red. Ikikiss mo ba ako in public? <laughs> parang, parang ganito yung eksena namin ng ordination na Kaya pala wala sa liturgy. <laughs> Ang kulit ko pa naman kay Pastor Lay, sabi ko, pwede ba ako sumingi at magpapasalamat ako? <laughs> Tapos, nakatinig ako yung liturgy kanina. Sabi ko, sisa na ako sisingit kasi hindi ko nakita yung pagpapasalamat. Pero nang nakita ko po kayo, mas na-worry po yata ako sa lunch. <laughs> kasi yung, yung, yung nagpa-reserve ng, ng lunch na salamat po kay na... Mr. Amador Aguivara at Mrs. Sosenia Guevara sa kanila pong pa-lunch later. Ay, 95 lang yung binigay ko kasi yun yung mga nag-register. So, ayun po. Makikigaya ako kay CM Elec at DCM Elec na dito nagsimula. <laughs> dito rin kasi yung aking hello and goodbye. Um, if you remember six years ago, uh, dito ako natawag. Uh, at isa siyang, isa siyang mabilis ang desisyon that time. Dahil walang nag-avail uh, for the office. At um, hindi naman pa ako qualified. I'm short of one year as ordained minister to run. At wala pa din sa, talaga sa hinagap kong mag-run. Dahil iba yung plano namin noon mag-asawa. Pero may, may paraan yatang mag-surprise ang Diyos. At uh, siguro dahil na din sa, dun sa short of time that we have to decide, ay umuo tayo dahil yun yung, yun yung nandun sa puso. Minsan kasi pag binibigyan tayo ng mahabang panahon para pag-isipan, ang dami pa natin kinoconsider. Paano kung ganito? Paano kung ganun? Paano kung ito yung mangyari? Paano yung plano natin? Pero pag dumadating yung mga ganong surprises ni God, plano niya. And we say yes to that. Pinagpala ang ating komperensya. Uulitin ko yung bahagi ng aking pagpapasalamat para marinig din ng iba. Dahil anuman ang sinasabi po nilang tagumpay ko, ninyo na tagumpay ko, it was not really my victory, but it was our victory. Amen. Pinagpala ang ating komperensya sa human resources at financial resources. Magaming generous. Malaking pasasalamat sa mga program committees, chairpersons, Reverend Shirley Eduarte, at sa lupon ng kanyang komite. Lalong higit sa panahon ng pandemya, kaagad 
nakaagapay ang CEN. Ang CEN, ang una natin kinulit yung ating mga webinars. BCS ay pagsumikapan natin online. At talagang mabilis ang committee na nakarespond. Gayun din ang committee ni Reverend Jerome Salen, ang aking asawa. Pastor Conrado mga lindan sa Committee on Community Ministries, yung ating mga guided na uh, paayuda sa ECG, sa pagpunta din natin sa ating mga communities. Pastor Gina Lee Gonzalez sa ating Partnership and Ecumenical Relations. Pastor Rico Manansala for the uh, Justice, Peace, and Human Rights Committee. Brother June Cabais sa... Kaya itong panahon ng pandemya, gayon din uh, yung naranasan natin yung pagpapalang pinansyal. Nakaka-amaze kasi iniisip natin na panahon ng pandemya wala, kapos. Pero dahil sa pagsusumikap ng ating CSRD sa paunguna ng ating kapatid na Brother June na ngayon ay elected uh, chairperson, ay nagtagumpay ang ating komperensya sa pangangailangan. Pinapasalamatan din natin si uh, Kuya Jojo Aguas sa pangunguna sa CCDCR. Hindi matumbasan ang inyong pag-iisip at pagpapagal para sa komperensya. Ang mga chairpersons ng Committee on Ministry, Reverend Sara Barrientos, Sister Fiona Martin Guevara, buntis pa siya doon at panganganak na. Mga madaming dinadanas din pero talagang ginampanan ng kanilang mga gawain. DCM Jeff Santos for formation. Um, formation and then examination. Maraming salamat sa inyong dedikasyon sa pagtugon sa gawain ng mga respective committees. Sampu ng inyong mga members. Pasensya na kung hindi ko maisa-isa ang mga pangalan. Sa ating Conference Council Execom, Chairman Jordan Ramos, isama ko na rin si Jaja. They have been my prayer partners. Confidante. Um, yung napaka-importante nung naging partnership din namin ni Chairman Jordan sa panahong ito ng panunungkulan ng six years dahil nandoon yung, yung gabay at yung pananalangin na kailangan-kailangan na nare-receive ko. Si Vice Lani De La Cruz, my Jack uh, meeting partner, maraming salamat. Thank you, Te. Secretary Perlito Pring, maraming salamat po. Treasurer Beth Torres, si Ate Beth, ang treasurer po natin napakasipag, parang staff work na talaga eh. Lahat po ito, volunteer work. Maraming salamat sa iyong kasipagan. Auditor Mayra Yao. And of course, yung ating financial secretary o let's see, Kuya Jun. Sa inyong extended service sa loob ng anim na taon, dahil sa holdover, hanggang sa huli ay hindi nagmaliw ang inyong dedikasyon. At sa bumubuo pa ng buong council, maraming salamat. Sa mga CRO's president, CWA president, Perlita Agua Spring, UCM president, Ferdinand Diwa, na nung unang dalawang taon ko as OIC, pinagdadrive pa po ako ni Kuya Dinan. Ganon yung kanyang um, service sa akin. Ang ating CF President, Ryan Munoz, CYF President, Kervin, maraming salamat. MSO Tita Ruth Torres, maraming salamat po. At ang UKUO officers, President Pastor Dona, ang mga UKUO officers na Araw-araw yata at kami nasa group chat para pag-usapan ng mga mahalagang bagay. Pinagsumikapan ng bawat organisasyon ang gawain, malawak ang inyong ginampanan na tungkulin. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. And of course, my appreciation to our Bishop Emergencio Padillo na naging tatay talaga ng uh, Middle Luzon Jurisdiction at nakita natin yung presence at paggabay sa ating komperensya. Palakpakan po natin si Bishop. Sa ating mga local chairpersons, sa lahat ng congregations na binisita ko yung kanilang hospitality, maraming salamat. Sa mga na-care of sa akin na local church na naging immediate community ko na itinuring akong pamilya, maraming maraming pong salamat sa inyo. At syempre makakalimutan ko ba naman ng aking asawa. From Deputy Conference Minister ng Manila North Conference, minarapat niyang lumipat sa West Central Luzon Conference para ako ay magabayan sa trabaho. At yung DCM niya, 
Pinayaan niya lang na ma-demote yung DCM niya. Deputy Conference Minister sa, sa driver ni CM. Nauunang nasasaktan kapag ako ay nasasaktan. At nauunang masaya kapag ako ay masaya. Pero minsan pinoproblema ko siya kapag gusto niyang mangaway. <laughs> Siyempre sa aking pamilya, panganiban, kalalang, nandiyan si Mamang Ben, nasa yung dugong dumadaloy sa akin ng, ng pagsiserve. Ka kayo yon nakita ko yon sa panganiban, kalalang na pamilya, kay Apong Palo. Naunang, uh, naunang nag-nurture ng aking pananampalataya. Siya yung naglapit sa akin. sa simbahan sa Diyos. And I remember her today. Looking back on the day of where there was no available to serve the conference as conference minister, I was asked if I could take the challenge of being the OIC. Pero dumating din ako sa punto na tinanong ko rin ang sarili ko ng mga panahon ng pagsubok. There was a period in the six years of service where I felt regret. Nagtanong din ako kung worth it ba? Worth it ba ang komperensya? And what an amazing God we have. Every day, binibigyan ako ng sagot ng Diyos na worth it. Ang komperensya, ang paglilingkod sa Kanya, Siya. Sa bawat pupunta ako sa local church, sa bawat may matatagpuan ako ang nagmamalasakit, sa bawat may kamay na tumutulong, sa bawat komunidad na ating napupuntahan at natutulungan, sa bawat masaya tayong sama-sama, lahat ng ito ay worth it. Salamat sa Diyos sa pagkakataon ng anim na taon na paglilingkod sa inyo at kasama ninyo. I am Reverend Elaine Grace Kalalang, Panganiban Kalalang Salen, officially signing off as Conference Minister. Pero magtatrabaho pa po ako hanggang May 31 na. <laughs> Baka makita niyo pa po ako na umiikot-ikot. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Lord. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. For the, for the celebration of the sacrament of the Holy Communion, let us be guided with our liturgy. May God be with you. And with you also. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to do so. We give you thanks. Holy, Almighty, Eternal God, always and everywhere through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior, by whom you made world and all things living and beautiful. We bless you for your continued love and care for every creature. We praise you for creating us in your image and calling us to be your people. 
Though we rebelled against your love, you did not abandon us, but sent to us prophets and teachers to lead us into the way of salvation. Above all, we give you thanks for all the gifts of Jesus, your only Son, who is the way, the truth, and the life. In the fullness of time, he took upon himself our nature, and by the obedience of his life, his suffering upon the cross, and his resurrection from the dead, he has delivered us from the way of sin and death. We praise you that he now reigns with you in glory and ever lives to pray for us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who leads us into truth, defends us in adversity, and unites us out of every people in one holy church. Therefore, with a whole company of saints in heaven and on earth, we worship and glorify you, God most holy, and we sing with joy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, O Lord Most High. Holy Father, most glorious and gracious God, we give you thanks that our Savior Jesus Christ, before he suffered, give us this memorial of his sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night, when he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. His death, O God, we proclaim. His resurrection, we declare. His coming, we await. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! The gifts of God for the people of God come and receive the body and the blood of Christ.
Tayong lahat ay tumayo. Tayo ay manalangin. We give you thanks, O God, because in your own free gift of love, you have reached out to us. You have refreshed us at your table, touched our deepest needs, and called us to a life shared in memory and hope. Send us forth with courage and joy in the name of Jesus Christ, that we too may become bread and peace for one another and the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please be seated. Narito po ang ating bagong elect na opisyal ng ating konferensya. Ang ating bagong chairman, si Brother ba, June Cabais. Uh, Pumunta po tayo sa harapan. Lahat po nang tatawag. Oh, okay. Ire-represent na lang daw po ni MMS. At ang bat, bago nating vice chairperson, ay ang ating kapatid na Ronald Santos from Santa Catalina. Ating secretary, Brother Jerome Panti. Come forward. Ating uh, bagong treasurer, si Mrs. Mayra Paule. Ating Financial Secretary, Janine Joma Guevara Cruz. <laughs> Auditor, Profetisa Aguas Guevara. <laughs> Ang ating National uh, Council Representative, si Sister Lani De La Cruz. Ang ating mga ministerial representatives from ordained Reverend Sara Kabay ah, Barrientos, sorry. Reverend Elaine Grace Salen and Reverend uh, Shirley Eduarte. And for the unordained Pastor Gina Lee Gonzalez, Pastor Donna Alfonso and Pastor AB Guevara. At sa ating mga uh, lay representative for men, Brother Ed Garcia. Wala po siya. Ating women representative, Sister Rowena Magpayo. Sa ating youth representative, si Kimberly Nicole Kiyaw. Silido. Wala din. Okay, for our uh, General Assembly, UCCP General Assembly Representative, uh, sa Youth Representative, si Alia Kiel Ruestra from CCPC. And for the Adult Representative, Perdita Agua Spring. Yan po ang ating bagong pamunuan ng ating konferensya. May I request for our newly elected conference council to face the altar? The United Church of Christ in the Philippines provides for the exercise by men and women of the gifts God bestows upon them. Having sought the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we are now to commission as members of the conference council those whom we have elected to this ministry. Brothers and sisters, God has called you to serve 
Jesus Christ in this particular ministry, the responsibilities of the Conference Council are to bear witness to that unity that is both Christ's gift and will, to encourage each other to participate in the total life of the Church and of the Conference and to share in the ministry of the Church to the community, to plan and supervise joint activities of the Conference in worship, mission, service, and administration, to maintain all necessary and appropriate relationships with the Conference and other judicatories, councils of the Church. Do you, depending upon the gift and power of the Holy Spirit, confess anew Jesus Christ as Lord, acknowledging Him to be the Son of God and Savior of the world? Will you seek to live and work within the faith of one holy Catholic universal church and apostolic church, as that faith is described in the basis of union of the United Church of Christ in the Philippines? Will you accept this responsibility, committing yourself to follow Christ, to love your neighbor, and to work for the reconciling of the world? Will you serve the people using your energy, your intelligence, imagination, love, relying and rejoicing in God's grace and promises. Do you, the member of the conference, receive as conference body under God to lead you in the way of Jesus Christ? Let us all stand for our affirmation. Will you encourage them in love and support them in their ministry, serving them the one Lord Jesus Christ, the head of the church? May God give you strength to fulfill these vows, and to Him be the glory in the church and in Jesus Christ from generation to generation forever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, Send your Holy Spirit upon your servants for ministry in the Church Conference Council. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I now declare you to be members of the Conference Council of the United Church of Christ in the Philippines, West Central Luzon Conference. The blessing of God, Creator, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit remain with you always. Amen. We, you may now face the crowd. Let us give them a round of applause. We may now be seated.
Let us now witness the commissioning and covenant signing of our new ministerial students. Ministerial student, Doctora Maricar Carlota Gamboa Cabais, and ministerial student, Lowell Templo Manikis. And may I ask their immediate family to come forward also to stand um, beside them or below. Also, the uh, council chairperson of the local church council, kung narito po. There are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are varieties of services, but the same Lord. To each is given a gift, and being so, together we are called to serve the Church. Inspired and empowered by the risen Christ, there are those who are called to minister and teach. Brothers and sisters, today we, re today we renew our commitment in the great commission of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we lift in prayer our ministerial students in the journey towards their calling. Dr. Maricar Gamboa Cabais and MS Lowell Templo Manikis, with your God given gifts, you might have done pastoral tasks like preaching, teaching, or even administrative work prior to entering the seminary. However, like the rest of the faithful before you, you will go through the process of becoming. The seminary would be a place where you will learn and unlearn. Your studies will come with experiences that would stretch your spirits. It is a journey where you will meet and must walk with other travelers. To be equipped for the service would require a commitment that is above yourself. You begin today by stepping on the path of self-denial. You will have trod your own Damascus Road where you will be blind to your own ambition and the light of Christ, your only vision. And with this, you, their parents and families and home church, we pray that you will not grow weary in supporting them with whatever is needful and timely, uplifting them with your understanding and counsel, and to pray for them till they reach the end of the journey. May there be more, may there be more others that would come after them. Let us witness the signing of the covenant and the giving of symbols. I ask our ministerial students to please kneel. Enlistment into the ministry is indeed a committed response to the act of God in Jesus Christ in calling and choosing through the Holy Spirit and the faith communities, women and men to be church workers. The Holy Spirit bestows on faith communities diverse and complementary gifts, and members of these communities are called to discover develop and employ these gifts for the building up of the body of Christ as she helps enable the world to know and experience the Creator's gift of life in its fullness. In her journey as people of God, the Church has always expected her workers to have a strong sense of calling as manifested in their active participation 
in the life work of the local church. In this spirit, I, Maricar Cabais, do solemnly promise with the guidance of the Holy Spirit to be faithful to my calling as a ministerial student and future church worker of the West Central Luzon Conference. I will commit to nurture my calling through deep communion with God and my varying experiences, exposures, and trainings that will enhance my capabilities to steadfastly express my personal commitment for the work and ministry of the Church. With a steadfast faith in Jesus Christ and a holistic understanding of the ministry of the Church, I commit to uphold respect for cultural heritage, gender sensitivity and gender justice, sense of dignity of own personhood and of others, capacity for learned listening and empathizing, compassion for the suffering and the needy, healthy and wholesome relationships, stewardship of time, talents and resources, care for, for the, the environment, environment. Under, under the, the guidance, guidance of God and the, and the Conference Formation, Formation Committee, I humbly, I humbly commit myself to recognition of personal, personal weaknesses and, and strengths and, and potential, potential for change, ability and humility to recognize and admit errors, prejudices, and, and biases, ability, ability to accept praise and recognition humbly and, and gratefully to be open and humble to both the learning and unlearning process of my journey into becoming a church worker. As a conference beneficiary, I understand that I am to serve the West Central Zone Conference and UCCP after completing all seminary requirements for graduation, that in the event that I cease serving the above, I will be held liable to all expenses incurred during my studies and that I pledge to return the amount to the West Central Luzon Conference. As a student, I commit to diligence and patience in my academic requirements, maintaining an admirable scholastic status while enrolled in constant, and constant communication with my immediate supervisors or administrative pastors in, in my concurrent church, church assignment, for my, my continuing training as a future church worker. I commit myself wholly and heartfully to the above. May the Lord Jesus Christ be praised and glorified with this, my life, as I serve Him with all my heart. So help me, God. May the congregation arise and respond with the hymn, I have decided to follow Jesus.
Ministry is the work of God, done by the people of God, and given to each Christian as vocation. Through baptism, all Christians are made part of the priesthood of all believers. The church made visible in the world. God in Christ, through the Holy Spirit, empowers us to live as witness of God's grace and love. We are to bear witness in and through the life of the church and to be faithful in our daily lives. Therefore, in celebration of our common ministry, I call upon all God's people gathered here, remember your baptism and be thankful. On behalf of the examination committee, which has recommended these candidates, candidates and the annual session, which has approved them, we present to you Desiree J. Gagi and Rosalie G. Laksamana to be consecrated diaconal minister in Christ's Holy Church. Maari ba po bang tumayo ang dalawa? May I call on the candidates to be consecrated to come to the front for the consecration rites. Brothers and sisters, these persons are by God's grace to be consecrated to the Yakunal ministry. Those authorized by the church to inquire about them have discerned that they are persons of sound learning. And of Christian character. They possess the necessary, necessary gifts and evidence of God's grace and have demonstrated a profound commitment to serve Jesus Christ. Therefore, we believe, we believe them to be duly called to serve God in this ministry. We ask you, people of God, to declare your assent to the consecration of these persons. Do you trust that they are worthy by God's grace to be consecrated? We do. Thanks be to God. Will you uphold them in their ministry? With God's help, we will. Let us pray. Almighty God, the giver of every good and perfect gift, to whom all work must be consecrated, we commend to you these persons to be consecrated to the Yakunal ministry within your church. Grant to them a vision of service. Give them strength for the performance of their duties, an understanding heart, and a willingness to work with all others in the ministry of the church through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. All baptized Christians are called to share in Christ's ministry of love and service in the world. To the glory of God and for the redemption of the human family and the whole creation. Desiree and Rosalie, you are to be consecrated to the Yakunal ministry in Christ's holy church. You are to represent the church the ministry of servanthood in the world. God has called you to a special ministry that will exemplify Christ's servanthood. You are to lead the people of God to be obedient servants, to participate in the leadership of worship, to demonstrate concern for love, justice, and freedom, to counsel the troubled in spirit, to teach from the riches of God's grace, to serve the poor, the sick, and the oppressed to equip all Christians to be in ministry and in service to the community and to embody the unity of the congregation's worship with its life in the world. As the Yakunal ministers in the church, you are to be a co-worker with other the Yakunal ministers and with the bishops, ordained ministers, and pastors. 
It is your task to proclaim by word and deed the gospel of Jesus Christ and to live your life according with it so that we may know that you believe yourselves to be called by God and that you profess the Christian faith. We ask you, do you believe that you have been called by God to the life and work of a diaconal minister? We do so believe. Do you believe in the triune God and confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? We do so believe and confess. Do you believe the doctrines of Christian faith? We do so believe them. Are you persuaded that the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments contain all things necessary for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ and are the unique and authoritative standard for the church faith and life? We are so persuaded by God's grace. Will you faithful in prayer in the reading and study of the Holy Scriptures and with the help of the Holy Spirit continually rekindle the gift of God that is in you? We will, God being our helper. Will you lead so that the power of God may be manifest in your life and ministry, enabling others to become disciples of Jesus Christ? We will, by God's grace. Will you accept the duties that have been committed to your care? And will you discharge them faithfully in serving all persons to the glory of God? We will, God being our helper. Will you be loyal to the United Church of Christ in the Philippines, accepting its order, liturgy, doctrine, and discipline, committing yourself to be accountable with those serving with you and to those who are appointed to supervise your ministry? We will. God being our helper. Remember that you are called to serve rather than to be served. To proclaim the faith of the church and no other. To look after the concerns of Christ above all. May God who has given you the will to do these things give you grace to perform them that the work begun in you may be brought into perfection. Amen. All these persons are consecrated by God and the church as diaconal ministers. Let us pray for them. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you for raising up among us faithful servants for the Yakunal ministry. As we put this oil on their heads, the way Moses anointed Aaron and his sons, may, you, may your Holy Spirit fill this place and each of these persons with the presence that they may be full of power and wisdom to serve you in a way that is pleasing to you. As they take up their, their roles, let nothing but the love of Christ dwell in their hearts. Help them to work as unto you and not men. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible sponsors, please. Yung tagapagbigay po ng Biblia ni na Rosalie at Desiree. Tinatawagan po si Mrs. Annabel Manansala. 
NPR Langit. Desiree and Rosalie, take authority as a diaconal minister in the church to teach the word, to practice justice, and to serve God's people. Tinatawagan po yung tagapagbigay ng diakonal orarion. Kung andyan po si Tita Amorwe na Langit o representative. Tinatawagan po si Tita Norin. This orarion symbolizes your service to Christ Church. May you always gird yourself with an orarion and remind yourself always to conform unto Christ in serving others. Tinatawagan po si Doktora Kamil Arparero para po sa oraryon ni DM Desiree. I, I Rosalie G. Laksamana, do solemnly promise to be, to be faithful to my calling as a diaconal minister of Christ, consecrated to serve the people. I will at all times obey and adhere to the heritage of faith and order of the Church as embodied in the Holy Scriptures in its creeds and ethical teachings, in the Constitution and bylaws, and other statutes. I shall dedicate myself to my task even beyond the call of duty and consider my efforts as gaining enough. 
I, I shall remind myself that I lead as a servant and serves as a leader, as God is my witness. So let me remain steadfast as I pronounce this vow. Amen. Desiree G. Gagi and Rosalie G. Laksamana, we now recognize you as the Yakunal Ministers of the United Church of Christ in the Philippines. Let us give them a round of applause. our retirement recognition rights. Ako mapapagod sa atin si Pastor Abel. <laughs> Dito na lang po muna sa baba. Ayan. Sorry, Pastor. Sorry po. Mamaya na lang po muna na kami saktan. <laughs> Abisaya po ka ng mukiyat. Si Rev. Naimi Bungay ay hindi po natin kasama ngayon uh, dahil siya ay uh, undergoing uh, therapy. Uh, pero kung meron po siyang um, immediate family na naririto, Request ko din po ang uh, immediate family ni Pastor Abel. Mga minamahal ng mga kamagagawa sa Panginoon, Mula sa inyong mga nalakihang iglesia ay kinasihan kayo ng Espiritu Santo. Dinala sa konferensya upang sanayin maging mga manggagawa nito at isinugo sa kanyang mga lokal na iglesia. Sa maraming mga taon na lumipas ay matapat ninyong isinagawa at isinabuhay ang inyong pagkatawag. Kinilala kayo at itanalaga bilang mga pastor. Binigyan ng karapatan at kapangyarihang ipangaral ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon. Ganapin ang mga sakramento at pangunahan ng buhay at ministeryo ng iglesia at kagaya ng tinuran ni Apostol Pablo, kayo ay hinirang upang maihanda ang mga banal para sa gawaing paglilingkod at para sa ikatitibay ng katawan ni Kristo hanggang sa maabot nating lahat ang pagkakaisa ng pananampalataya at ng kaalaman sa anak ng Diyos hanggang sa tayo ay maging sakdal, hanggang sa tayo ay lumaki na pinakas sukat ng kataasan ng kapuspusan ni Kristo. At sa biyaya ng Diyos, sa abot ng inyong makakaya, ay nagawa ninyo ang lahat ng mga ito. Ngayon, nasa yugto kayo ng inyong buhay at ministeryo, kung saan ay kikilalanin kayo bilang mga retiradong manggagawa ng iglesia. Nais naming ipahayag sa pangalan ng konferensya ang aming taos-pusong pasasalamat sa lahat ng inyong mga pagpapagal upang ang misyon ni Kristo na ipinagkatiwala sa atin ay magpatuloy. Retirado pero handa sa pakikilahok sa anumang gawain kung hintulot ng inyong katawan. Magpatuloy kayong tapat sa inyong pagkatawag at dalangin namin na nawa ay patuloy kayong samahan ng pag-ibig at kabutihan ng Diyos. Ipanalangin po natin sila. Maraming salamat, Dakilang Diyos, sa aming mga kamanggagawa, Reverend Abel Gagi, Reverend Noemi Bungay. Salamat sa mga taon na kanilang ginugol upang paglingkuran ka sa matapat nilang pagkakaloob ng kanilang mga oras, kakayanan, sakripisyo 
maging ng kanilang buong pamilya. At ngayon ay aming tauspusong ipinagpapasalamat ang kanilang paglilingkod. Patuloy mo nawa silang pagpalain sa kanilang mga buhay, kalingain ang kanilang mga kalusugan, at maging sapat ang kanilang mga pangangailangan sa araw-araw. Ang yakap ng iyong pag-ibig ay patuloy mong ipadama sa kanila. Lalong higit, Panginoon, patuloy din nilang maramdaman ang pagmamahal ng buong komperensya na kanilang pinaglingkuran at minahal ng tapat. Ito ang aming samot dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Ihandog po natin ang kanilang mga Certificate of Retirement. At tinatawagan ko rin ang ating Conference Treasurer para sa ating token o para sa kanila. Katibayan ng pagpapahalaga ay malugod na iginagawad kay Reverend Abel Y. Gagi at Reverend Noemi Bungay, taus pusong pagkilala sa kanilang matapat na paglilingkod at dedikasyon bilang manggagawa ng Panginoong Yesus sa mga iglesia lokal ng West Central Luzon Conference sa loob si Pastor Abel ng 33 taon simula noong 1989 hanggang sa kasalukuyan. Si Reverend Noemi Rivera Bungay ng 32 taon simula 1990 hanggang sa kasalukuyan. Dakal pong salamat kaya kayo, pastors. Makatarungan ng Diyos, hindi niya malilimutan ng inyong ginawa at ang pagmamahal na inyong ipinakita at hanggang ngayon ipinapakita sa pamamagitan ng paglilingkod ninyo sa mga hinirang ng Diyos. Ipinagkakaloob ngayong ika-31 ng Marso 2022 sa pangwakas na pananambahan ng ika-72 taunang pagpupulong ng West Central Luzon Conference na ginanap sa UCCP Santa Catalina, Lubao, Pampanga. Signed by our chairperson, Jordan Ramos, yours truly, Conference Minister, and our beloved Bishop, Emerhensio D. Padillo. Ang lahat ng mundong ito ay may kanikanyang panahon, may kanya-kanyang oras. Ngunit iniangkop ng Diyos ang lahat ng bagay sa tamang kapanahunan. Sa inyong pagreretiro, hindi ibig sabihin ay magtatapos din ang inyong ministeryo. Patuloy kayong gagamitin ng Panginoon. Sa ngayon, nakikita natin ang Diyos ay may hinirang din na magpapatuloy sa inyong mga gawain. Hinilang, hinihiling kong lumapit ang ating dalawang ministerial student na pagkakalooban ng lisensya. <laughs> ministerial student, Oro Basil Aguas Guevara and ministerial student, Arsa Roy Alegado. Sa lumang tipan mula sa aklat ng mga hari, mababasa natin ang pang Pagkahirang ni Elias bilang isang propeta, ang balabal na kanyang gamit ay sumisimbolo sa kapakumbabaan at pagsunod sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. At ito ay napunta sa batang propeta sa katauhan ni Eliseo. Nang kanyang ipagpatuloy ang ministeryo nito bilang isang propeta at ang espiritu ni Elias ay nanahan kay Eliseo, ngayon ay gagawin natin ang simbolikong pagpapasa ng kanilang mga balabal sa anyo ng estola Sa dalawang kabataang magagawa na mamaya din ay bibigyan ng komperensya ng natatanging karapatan at kilalanin bilang conference license sheets. Kamanggagawang A.B. Guevara and uh, Roy Alegado Nais nice naming ipasa sa inyo ang mga istolang ito sa pagtitiwalang inyong yayakapin ng buong puso ang ministeryong pinagkatiwala sa atin ng Panginoong Yesus. Kakibat ng mga istolang ito 
ang mga responsibilidad na aming ginampanan at dedikasyon aming ipinamalas sa paglingkod. Tanggapin ninyo ang mga ito at sa inyong kabataan at kalakasan ay paglingkuran ng buong puso ang ating iisang Diyos. Tinatanggap namin ang istolang ito, kakaibat ang lahat ng responsibilidad bilang mga lingkod ng Panginoon. Nawa katulad ni Eliseo, ay manahan namin ang dalawang bahagi ng inyong kapangyarihan at manatili sa amin ang mabuting espiritu ng kasipagan at dedikasyon sa ministeryo ng Panginoon. The licensing right is provided for in bylaws, Article 2, Section 6D, and is also reflected in the Magna Carta for Church Workers. The 72nd Annual Session has granted license to Ministerial Student Aura Basil A. Guevara and Ms. M Ministerial Student Arcere Roy S. Aligado perform the sacraments and be accorded the title Conference License Sheets. May I call on the candidates to come to the front for the licensing rights. For better appreciation of your calling, we are going to use symbols to signify your great privilege and great responsibility as conference licensees of the United Church of Christ in the Philippines. Tinatawagan po ang nanay ni AB at yung asawa ni Brother Roy. Nanay at tatay po. <laughs> Receive this Holy Bible as a sign of the authority given you this day to speak God's word to His people, build them up in His truth, and serve them in his name. Tinatawagan po si Kuya Jojo Aguas. The stall symbolizes the expected challenges while doing the ministry as the stall takes the shape of a yoke. Receive this stall as a sign of your work and live in obedience to the Lord Jesus, serving His people and remembering His promise. Come to me, all you, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Wear this stole as a symbol of sharing Christ's suffering, as the stole is placed on your shoulders to represent your willingness to bear all things in Christ, to bear fruit 
the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Your hands will be soiled. Hardships will prick your heart, but rejoice and be glad. God's promises are real. His grace is sufficient. God is far greater than all our earthly cares. And now, by the power vested upon me as Bishop of the Middle Zone Jurisdiction of the United Church of Christ in the Philippines, I now declare that your license to celebrate sacraments is duly renewed for ecclesial year 2022 to 2023. Press on, fellow servants, our God is awesome. Our God is faithful. God is with us. Amen. Let us give them a round. Tinatawagan po si Ate Cleo para iabot ang mga Magna Carta. Pastor A.B. and Pastor Roy received this, received this, a copy of the Magna Carta, a copy of the Constitution and Bylaws, and of course, a copy of the Word of God, and feed your heart and find with the eternal words from God. Always remember, care for God's people, bear their burdens, and do not betray their confidence. Serve the needy, care for the sick, comfort the distressed. And through the words and action and witness faithfully to God's love for all people. Cross every barrier that stands between the church and its ministry in the world. Seek out those places where the gospel of Jesus Christ meets the world's need. Empower, equip, and support all the baptized in the ministry of Jesus Christ. Lead us all in proclaiming the gospel in word and song in witness and service and be of good courage for god has called you and your labor in the lord is not in vain
Sige. I may now call all the conference licenses to come forward and bring your stalls with you for the rights of renewal of your license as well. And now, by the, by the power vested on me as Bishop of the Middle Luzon, jurisdiction of the United Church of Christ in the Philippines, I now declare that your license to celebrate sacraments is duly renewed for ecclesi ecclesial year 2022-2023. Praise on, fellow servants. Our God is awesome. Our God is faithful. God is with us. Amen. Congratulations. Pinatawagan po ang ating Settlement Committee Chairperson, Sister Fiona Martin Guevara. Gagayahin ko na rin po sila, DCM at CM. Ako po ay taga Santa Catalina. Share ko lang. Kaya ko na po umiti dahil sa mga nakaraan, hindi po naging madali ang aming trabaho sa Central. Maraming salamat po at eto na nga po, babasahin na po natin ang... Uh, mga assignments ng ating mga church workers. Babasahin ko lang po ang nakasulat sa certificate. Uh, United Church of Christ in the Philippines, Middle Luzon Jurisdiction, West Central Luzon Conference presents this certificate of parish assignment to church workers. Given this 31st day of March in the year of our Lord Jesus Christ, 2022, during the closing celebration of the second, 72nd Annual Session of the WCLC held at UCCP Santa Catalina, Lubao, Pampanga. The Lord Himself goes before you 
and I will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. From the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 8. Signed by yours truly. Ang maganda niyo pong lingkod. Ano na, kaya nang umiti. Brother Jordan C. Ramos, WCLC Church uh, Council Chairperson. At ang ating magandang Conference Minister, Reverend Elaine Grace Salen. At tinatawagan ko po uh, sa in, in alphabetical order na lang po ng mga lokal. Sa Angeles po, Pastor Arlene Torres. Licensed Pastor, UCCP Angeles, EY 2022 to 2024. Reverend Gloria Avenida A. Dimla, Ordained Minister, UCCP Bangkal, for EY 2022 to 2024. <laughs> MS Lowell T. Manikis, Ministerial Student, UCCP Batang, for EY 2022 to 2024. Reverend Shirley S. Eduarte, ordained minister for UCCP CCPC for EY 2022 to 2023. <laughs> Reverend Sara Carmelita B. D. Barrientos, ordained minister. UCCP Church of Christ Disciples Police for EY 2022 to 2024. <laughs> Patawagin ko na rin po ang makakasama niya as DM sa police. DM Desiree J. Gagi, Diaconal Minister CCPC Church of Christ Disciples Police for EY 2022 to 2024. Reverend Drene Garcia, ordained minister, UCCP Del Carmen for EY 2022 to 2024. Bagong-bago po din to, Pastor Aura Basil Guevara, Licensed Pastor for UCCP Florida e for EY 2022 to 2024. Pastor Rogelio Larin, Licensed Pastor UCCP Magsaysay, EY 2022 to 2024. <laughs> Reverend Edwardson Luat, ordained minister, UCCP Pampang, EY 2022 to 2024. Kasama po si DM John Isel Luwat, Diaconal Minister, UCCP Pampang, EY 2022 to 2024. 
Pastor Rico Menensala, Licensed Pastor UCCP Pulonggagi, EY 2022-2024. Ito din po, Pastor Arce Roy Alegado. Licensed Pastor sa bagong-bagong UCCP Samal for EY 2022-2024. Pastor Conrado Mangalindan Jr., Licensed Pastor, UCCP, San Antonio, Zambales, EY 2022-2024. Kasama po si MS Rose Ann Pantig, Ministerial Student, UCCP, San Antonio, Zambales, 2022-2024. I-welcome po natin sa Santa Catalina si Reverend Elaine Grace Salem, <laughs> ordained minister for 2022 to 2024. I-welcome din po namin sa Santa Catalina si MS Je Jennifer Gagi for 2022 to 2024. MS Maria Carlota Carba Cabais, Ministerial Student, UCCP Santa Cruz for EY 2022 to 2024. Pastor Margarito Sevilla, Licensed Pastor, UCCP San Luis, for EY 2022 to 2024. Reverend Jerome Lemuel Salem, ordained minister, UCCP Santa Maria, for EY 2022 to 2024. Makakasama niyo po si DM Rosely Laksamana sa UCCP Santa Maria for 2022 to 2024. Reverend Arsenio Guevara, ordained minister, UCCP San Pablo Lubao for EY 2022 to 2024. Pastor Gina Lee Gonzalez, Licensed Pastor, UCCP Santa Teresa Lurang for EY 2022 to 2024. Tawo po naman po Santa Catalina. Ito po, hindi ko alam kung magsasalita din. M.S. Reylo Calma, Ministerial Student, UCCP Santa Teresa Lurang for EY 2022 to 2024. Tawo po naman po kayo ni Santa Catalina. Pahuli po si Pastora Donna na wala, hindi po natin nakasama ngayon. Pastora, Pastora Donna Marie Alfonso, Licensed Pastor, UCCP San Pablo, Guagua for EY 2022 to 2024. Maraming maraming salamat po.
fellow workers in the farmland of God, we are called to be followers of Christ. We belong to the Followers League of Christ. Ours is a high calling, for it emanated from the divine. We are not worthy, we are insufficient, but thanks be to God, His grace is sufficient. We said yes, because through Christ we can do all things. Once again, we rejoice in the abundance of God's grace and in the assurance of God's presence and power. Once again, we celebrate our partnership with God's people, the Church. We have witnessed your commitment to Christ's ministry and your participation in the rain building. Let us continue to work together for there is only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Let the expressions of our spirituality be manifested in our individual and collective ministry. Let us pray. Righteous God, thank you for the ministry that you have entrusted to us. Thank you for calling us to be part of your service. For here and now, fill us with your steadfast love that our hearts and souls be surrounded daily with your truth. Help us to build on strong foundations, nurture our faith and ministry, that we may bear good fruit by the authority and power of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray, Amen. The congregational response. I can hear my Savior calling, I can hear my Savior calling, I can hear my Savior calling, take thy cross and follow, follow me, where he leads me I will follow. He leads me, I will follow. Where He leads me, I will follow. I'll go with Him, with Him all the way. Amen. Jesus gave his life as an offering for our sin. What shall we give in thanksgiving for life and salvation? Let us worship our Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer with our gifts and through our lives, invested in service to God and mankind. Aus nang Jesus ding dang ko, tuki ka kanako, gamat mo tusoy ayin mo, kanako isuyo, imanam nang aus Jesus, kimpu so menaglus. Make him a king, my 
ਬੂਸ ਤੋ ਕਿ ਅੰਦਾ ਕਾਂ ਲੂਸ ਆਉਸ ਨਾ ਕਨਾ ਖੂਨ ਦਿਮ ਦਮ ਅਮਾਨ ਕੋ ਸਬਿਆਨ ਕਰੇ ਮੇ ਸਭ ਲੰ ਮਾਨੰ ਦਾਮਨ creator god what you have entrusted to us gladly we offer to you ourselves for your blessing use us and our gift dear god in the work of proclaiming the full of life through jesus christ our lord amen Aking pong babasahin ngayon ang ating resolution of thanks sa ating uh, 72nd annual session. Ang ikapitumput dalawang tao ng session ng West Central Luzon Conference ay naidaos natin ng buong sigla at katagumpayan sa suporta at pag-aalay ng oras ng bawat isa. Kung kaya't sa pangalan ng pamunuhan ng konsilyo ng konferensya, ating ibinibigay ang tauspusong pasasalamat sa mga sumusunod na individual o grupo na buong sigasig at katapatan na ginampanan ang kanilang mga tungkulin. Ang una po, pinasasalamatan natin ang IT team ng UCCP Angeles. Maraming salamat. Sa pangunguna ni Brother Ryan Munoz, kasama si Naani Rain Torres, Ray Peñeranda, Jasmine Deyang, at Ramir Bungay. Sa kanilang dedikasyon, pagpapagal at huhusay sa teknolohiya upang maidawos ang pagtitipon posible sa gitna ng pandemya. Ginabayan ang kapulungan kung kaya't naging madali ang paggamit ng bagong platform, ang virtual o blended. Pangalawa po, binibigay natin ng ating pasasalamat sa ating UCCP General Secretary, uh, Melchar Labuntog, sa kanyang video greeting sa pagsimula ng ating konferensya. Pangatla po, sa ating minamahal na Bishop, Emergencio Padilla, 
ang ating bishop asay ng um, MLJ sa pagbibigay ng inspirasyon sa mensahe sa ating opening worship at sa paggabay sa buong panahon ng ating sesyon. Maraming salamat po, Bishop. Thank you, Thank you Bishop. Sa ating liturgy committee, na naghanda at nagsaayos ng ating mga liturhiya sa buong sesyon sa pumumuna po ng ating uh, Reverend uh, Edu uh, Shirley Eduarte ang ating bagong DCM. Katulong niya po sa ating, sa komite si na Pastor Raj mga Lindan, MS or ating DM Desiri Gagi at MS Jennifer Gagi at lahat ng ministerial students. Maraming maraming salamat po. Sa ating dalawang uh, MS o diaconal pala yung isa si Desiree at si Jennifer sa pumuna sa ating mga himno nung first, uh, sa opening worship po natin. Sila yung ating naririnig na kumakanta sa mga himno. Kay MS Doc Maricar Cabais sa pangunguna sa ating closing worship po ngayon. Maraming salamat. Sa ating bagong tinalagang uh, mga licensiate pastors, si MS uh, Pastor Aura Basil Guevara at si MS Arceroy Aligado sa pagbibigay ng refleksyon sa ating uh, morning devotion kahapon. Maraming salamat and good luck sa bagong journey. Sa WCLC Joint Choir sa pag-aalay na natatanging awit sa ating closing worship, nabunubo po sila ng Ukwo, Ukwo Choir, Bangkal, and Santa, Cat Santa Catalina Choir. Sa pangunguna po ng ating conference minister-elect, Reverend Jeff Santos. Maraming salamat po sa lahat. At sa CCPC Shepherd Squire sa pag-aalay ng tanging awit ng opening worship. Maraming salamat po CCPC. At of course, sa maraming pagkakataon na naghirap at nagtrabaho behind the scenes, sabi nga po ang ating Nomelec Committee sa pangunguna ni Pastor Arlene Torres. Maraming salamat po sa matiyagang pangangalap ng mga nominis at sa matagumpay at maayos na daloy ng eleksyon kahapon. Maraming salamat po, Pastor Arlene. At sa ating WCLC Council, na buong katapatang naglingkod sa iglesia o sa konferensya sa loob ng anim na taon. Tinangunahan po tayo nito ni CM Elaine Grace Salen. Sa mga manggagawa ng iglesia, sa mga active at in, uh, retired pastors na dumalo at nakilahok sa ating pagtitipon ngayong 72nd Annual Session. Maraming salamat po. Sa lahat ng lokal na iglesia na nagrepresent sa ating Annual Session na dahil sa kung wala po sila, ay hindi mabubuo ang ating pagtitipong ito. Maraming salamat po sa inyong mainit na pagsuporta sa lahat ng gawain ng konferensya. At ayon, sa lahat ng local churches ng Western Tradition Conference. At sa dalawang lokal na iglesia, ang UCCP Angeles at UCCP Santa Catalina sa pagtanggap bilang ating mga church host sa ating pagtitipon ngayon. Maraming salamat po. 
sa sambahayan ni kapatid na Bong and Josen Givara sa ating pong pananghalian mamaya. Maraming salamat. Mabubusog po tayo kahit tayo gutom na. <laughs> At sa huli po, sa huli, gusto nating uh, kilalanin sa ang, ang ikalabing siyam na lokal ng iglesia ng West Central Luzon Conference. <laughs> ang UCCP Samal. Pwede po tumayo ang UCCP Samal. Salamat po sa mga miyembro ng iglesia ito na nagsumikap mabuo ang iglesia at makapagtayo ng kanilang sariling church building. Sa tulong ng ating konferensya, maraming salamat at God bless you. Magandang araw po at tayo'y pagpalain ng Panginoon. Taga Santa Catalina din po ako. <laughs> Sa pangalan po ng ating butihing chairman, Brother Jordan Ramos, at sa lahat po ng mga outgoing officers ng ating conference, nais po namin ipaabot ang aming taos-pusong pasasalamat sa inyong lahat. Una po sa ating Dakilang Diyos na nagkalaob sa atin ng pagkakataon na kayo ay aming makasama upang makapaglingkod sa ating minamahal na komperensya sa loob ng anim na taon, dalawang taon po dito ay ang pandemya. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng inyong suporta, sa pababagitan ng inyong pananalangin at pagtitiwala. Sa mga panahon kami po ay nagkaroon ng mga pagkukulang, maraming salamat din po sa inyong mga naging pangunawa. At bilang inyong outgoing vice chairperson ng West Central Luzon Conference, dinideklara ko, ko po ngayon ang formal na pagsasara at pagtatapos ng isang matagumpay, masaya at mabungang 72nd annual session ng West Central Conference. Mabuhay po ang ating konferensya. To God be the glory for the things He has done. At ngayon po ako po ay natutuwang ipasa ang ating gable sa ating susunod na pamunuan. Kahit po wala ang ating chairperson elect na si Brother Jun Cabayes, nandito po naman ang kanyang vice chairperson na taga Santa Catalina rin, Brother Ronald Santo. Asawa po ako ng best friend at taga Santa Catalina din po. Si Noel.
Tayo ay manalangin. Nagpapasalamat kami aming Diyos sa iyong pangunguna at paggabay sa tatlong araw ng pagdaraos namin ng aming annual session. Salamat po sa lahat ng taong ginamit mo na nguna nagpagal upang maging, mat maging matagumpay ito. Ang pagpupuri at pasasalamat ay ibinabalik namin sa iyo. Iyoko niyo ang inyong mga ulo para sa pagpapala. God who has called us is faithful. Let us go and encourage the faithful, restore the lost, build up the body of Christ. Amen. May Christ who has ascended to the heights pour upon us the riches of His grace. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, equip us and strengthen us in the ministry. Amen. And the blessing of God The, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us and re remain with us always. Amen. Let us go in the light and peace of Christ, proclaiming the full light. Thanks be to God. Amen. 